Hi, here's how to make acrylic glass. So acrylic glass is probably the most common type of glass. It's very common in buildings uh, and in furniture because it's really sturdy, and, but it's still transparent. So let's try and replicate that. So I've got this scene, okay, with some light sources and two pieces of uh, nothing. So if I preview render that now, you'll see it looks okay. These don't have a material yet, so uh, um, they're just to default to fuse. So let's get a material. Let's actually get out of um, preview render and let's go give it a material. Let's press new and then let's give it just the default glass shader. So here's the glass shader. Okay. And it looks quite good. It looks okay. It has reflections. It has refractions. Okay. Um, it, ref it bends behind, it acts like a lens. Okay, but there's one thing that doesn't account for, and that is the Fresnel effect. So the Fresnel effect basically is, um, uh, if the light source is coming at the object at an angle, um, the camera is more likely to pick it up than if the light source was directly in front of the object, so the same side as the camera. So the result would be, so say this sphere would have edges that were brighter than the center of the sphere. And in the case of acrylic glass, you see very clearly here that the sides reflect different light than the middle does because of the direction of the light. So we're going to try and replicate that. Uh, and we have this wonderful thing called the mix shader. So let's go and add a mix shader. Okay. To make the edges brighter, we're going to mix. Uh, glass and normal diffuse okay so normal diffuse is just plain white okay so we mix that and it's at 0.5 right uh, but that creates a kind of a ceramic effect and we don't really want a ceramic effect we only want the diffuse to sort of highlight the edges uh, right now it's kind of just mix mixing with with the glass and creating right now it's kind of mixing with the glass and that's not what we want. Let's go and add something to the factor. So let's press shift A and add an input for now. Okay and this when we plug it into the factor you see voila. Okay uh, and if we render it again let's go to the camera and render. Okay you see the edges look different. Okay if I take if I just stick the glass here straight into material output, okay, you see it's just a, a sheet of, you know, reflective, uh, transparent stuff. But if I mix it with the diffuse and plug it back in, you see that the edges reflect different light than the center does, and that's because of the Fresnel effect. Um, and that's basically it. There's one thing I want to do though. I, I think that the center isn't th this this side isn't quite transparent enough. Uh, so I'm gonna actually take this out and we add a, add another mix node. Actually, I'm lagging really bad. So let's just take out of rendered view mode. I'm gonna go and put a shader mix, and I'm gonna mix this with a translucent shader just to make it more transparent and uh, let's just turn down the factor a little bit uh, quite a bit actually so it's siding with the translucent uh, shader so now we have this glass effect and you know what let's just make it slightly green because that's what uh, glass looks like so let's put in a diffuse let's change diffuse color which is this reflective color Let's change it to greenish. Okay, maybe greenish bluish. Maybe a little bit more saturated. Yeah, something like that. And let's change the the uh, glass shader to be slightly even less than the original. Like that's too much. Okay. Okay, that looks to be good. So. Um, Let's give it a test render, and you can see it's looking quite like glass. Okay, um, I can even change translucent to be a different color. I can, I could play around with a lot of these things. Okay, but I think we're almost finished. Um, 
let's just uh, change the IOR settings. So the IOR stands for index of refraction and basically every different object has a different index of refraction. So let's go ahead and Google IOR acrylic glass. Okay. And you'll see these all these um, list of refractive indices and in indexes indices. Uh, basically these are just um, archives of different IOR values for different uh, reflective surfaces. I like this one. This one's pretty straightforward. You just you know, it's it's in it's in letters. So well, first one A right acrylic glass. So that's one point uh, one point four nine. So let's put it one point four nine, which is actually pretty similar to what we have now one point four nine. And let's go ahead and change that. It, it's a small thing, but it it, it works one point four nine. And so there you have it, pretty much. Uh, let's actually just pull out your translucent so it's completely translucent. Okay, so it's a bit clearer. Let's pull that up too. So it's more clear. Yeah, that's much better. Um, yeah, so that's a, that's a simple uh, acrylic glass, and you can do a lot of stuff with it. So see here I have this scene this isn't nearly a perfect shader uh, there's still you know I don't like the fact that there's too much shadow uh, it's really dark in this area in the center area but it works pretty well as a stand-in shader actually it works pretty well as a close-up shader even uh, for generic you know acrylic glass so I hope this helped you out see ya